Welcome to our channel Circuits Analytica. In this tutorial, we will discuss nodal analysis of network with dependent sources. For the following network, find V1 and V2. If A is 2i1 and 2v1. First step is to mark various nodes of the network as P, Q and reference node as R. Mark currents associated with various nodes. Voltage at node P with respect to node R is denoted as V1, while voltage at node Q with respect to node R is denoted as V2. There are three currents associated with node P. One incoming current and two outgoing currents. Current sourced by the 5 ampere current source is incoming while the other two currents I1 and I2 are outgoing. So according to KCL, I1 plus I2 is equal to 5. I1 is the current flow through 1 ohms resistance which can be written as V1 minus V2 the whole divided by 1 and I2 is equal to Vp divided by 2. So applying KCL at not P, I1 plus I2 is equal to 5. V1 minus V2 the whole divided by 1 plus V1 by 2 is equal to 5. So 2 is the LCM, 2V1 minus 2V2 plus V1, the whole divided by 2 is equal to 5. Rearranging the terms, we will get 3V1 minus 2V2 is equal to 10. Equation number 1. There are three currents associated with not Q. Out of these three currents, two currents are incoming and one current is outgoing. So the incoming currents are I1 and A and the lone outgoing current is I4. According to Ohm's law, we can write I1 is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 1 and I4 is equal to V2 divided by 2. So applying KCL at not Q, I1 plus A is equal to I4. V1 minus V2 plus A is equal to V2 divided by 2. V1 minus V2 plus A minus V2 by 2 is equal to 0. So 2 is the LCM. 2V1 minus 2V2 plus 2A minus V2. The whole divided by 2 is equal to 0. So 2V1 minus 3V2 plus 2A is equal to 0, equation number 2. So we have two equations, 3V1 minus 2V2 is equal to 10, equation number 1. 2V1 minus 3V2 plus 2A is equal to 0, equation number 2. Case 1. A is equal to 2I1. So we can rewrite the second equation as 2V1 minus 3V2 plus 2 into 2I1 is equal to 0. 2V1 minus 3V2 plus 4I1 is equal to 0. I1 is equal to V1 minus V2. 3V1 minus 2V2 is equal to 10. That means 6V1 minus 4V2 is equal to 20. Equation 1.1.
So equation 2.1 minus equation 1.1 we will get minus 3 V2 is equal to minus 20 or V2 is equal to 20 divided by 3. V2 is equal to 20 divided by 3. Substituting this value in equation number 1. 3 V1 minus 2 V2 is equal to 10. 3 V1 minus 2 into 20 by 3 is equal to 10. 9 V1 minus 40 is equal to 30. 9 V1 is equal to 70. V1 is equal to 70 divided by 9. Therefore, we can write when A is equal to 2 I1, V1 is equal to 70 by 9 volt and V2 is equal to 20 by 3 volt, where A is the current source by the dependent current source. Case 2, A is equal to 2 V1. 3 V1 minus 2 V2 is equal to 10, equation number 1. 2 V1 minus 3 V2 plus 2 A is equal to 0, equation number 2. Put A is equal to 2 V1. Therefore, we can write 2 V1 minus 3 V2 plus 2 into 2 V1 is equal to 0, equation 2.2. 2 V1 minus 3 V2 plus 4 V1 is equal to 0. 6 V1 minus 3 V2 is equal to 0. Equation 2.2. .2. 3 V1 minus 2 V2 is equal to 10. Equation number 1. 6 V1 minus 4 V2 is equal to 20. Equation 1.1. So 6V1 minus 3V2 is equal to 0, equation 2.2. 6V1 minus 4V2 is equal to 20, equation 1.1. So equation 2.2 minus equation 1.1. We will get V2 is equal to minus 20 and V1 is equal to minus 10. So when A is equal to 2V1, V1 is equal to minus 10 volt and V2 is equal to minus 20 volt where A is the current sourced by the dependent current source. Thanks for watching Circuits Analytica. Enjoy learning.